Hello, today we are welcome to Motocross Update channel once again. Channel that will collect various stories of the motocross industry to tell your friends. Today we're going to talk about AMA Motocross 2022 Round 4 High Point Race. Before listening, please like, share, press subscribe. Let's cheer each other up too. Perfect weather conditions with balmy temperatures and partly cloudy skies set the tone for the East Coast debut of the 50th anniversary of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship, sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing. The sport's own Father's Day tradition headlined the fourth round of the 2022 season with the 45th running of the Lucas Oil Stabilizer High Point National from Legendary High Point Raceway. The battle for victory in the 450 class saw Monster Energy star Yamaha Racing's Eli Tomic become the fourth different winner in as many races, prevailing via tiebreaker for the first win with his knee. The fight for a spot on the podium saw its first change when Anderson forced the issue and made an aggressive pass on Barcha for third. Tomic then went on the attack and made his way by Barcha for fourth. Anderson kept the momentum rolling and closed in on his teammate for second where he made quick work of Savitji to assume the runner-up spot. About two laps later Tomic dropped Savitji off the podium with an impressive pass for third. As the moto reached its halfway point Sexton enjoyed a significant lead of more than 10 seconds over Anderson, who in turn sat nearly 5 seconds ahead of Tomic. They settled into their respective positions until Anderson encountered misfortune and dropped from second to fourth, which allowed Tomic to assume second and Savitji to claim third. Once Anderson was able to recompose himself he made the pass back on Savitji to reclaim the final spot on the podium. Anderson's recovery effort continued as he soon closed in on Tomic to initiate a late battle for second. Sexton was in a class of his own out front and made it look easy with a wire-to-wire -wire performance that brought him his third moto win of the season. He crossed the line 11.6 seconds ahead of Tomic, who held off Anderson in third. Barta followed in fourth while Savitji finished fifth despite heavy pressure from Red Bull KTM Factory Racing's Ryan Dungey and Team Honda HRC's Ken Rockin. Moto2 The final moto of the afternoon saw Dungey charge ahead to his first Motosport.com hole shot of the season as the Honda duo of Sexton and Rockin gave chase. Rockin was able to slip past his teammate to slot into second and carried that momentum into a pass for the lead. Dungey responded immediately and reclaimed the top spot to complete the opening lap, but Rockin got back around. Sexton then followed through into second, which put Dungey into the crosshairs of Anderson in fourth. The Kawasaki rider made the move to take control of third. As Dungey gave chase to Anderson it was Tomic who surprised both riders with a two-for-one move that saw him surge from fifth to third. The Yamaha rider was on a charge and quickly closed in on Sexton for second. The pressure from third pushed Sexton to increase his pace and close in on Rockin. The top three were separated by just over a second as the moto neared the halfway point. A patient Sexton bided his time and pulled the trigger on a pass that gave him the lead, but a bobble shortly thereafter allowed Rockin to reclaim the position. That allowed Tomic to attack Sexton for second, which forced the point leader into another bobble that the Yamaha rider took advantage of. Sexton then was forced to deal with pressure from Dungey for third. Back up front, Tomic stormed into the lead with an emphatic pass on Rockin with just under 13 minutes remaining. Once out front, Tomic distanced himself from the field and quickly built a lead of nearly 5 seconds. Soon Rockin and Sexton battled for second, with Sexton able to get the upper hand with nearly 8 minutes to go. Rockin later lost his hold of third to Dungey, who enjoyed his best effort of the season thus far. Tomic maintained his advantage through the remainder of the moto and brought home his third moto win of the season by 3.5 seconds over Sexton. Rockin put on a late charge to make a last lap pass on Dungey for third. In trading moto wins Tomic and Sexton finished in a tie atop the overall classification but Tomic prevailed for the 28th win of his career by virtue of his victory in Moto2, which awarded him the tiebreaker. As a result, Tomic now has sole possession of third on the all-time 450 class wins list. Sexton continued his four-race podium streak with a runner-up effort, while Anderson finished third overall following a fifth-place result in the final moto. How are you? What are your thoughts on the clip? If you like it, please press like, press share, press subscribe.
Please encourage each other and see you again in the next clip. Hello.